Today, the Iowa City City Council is looking to fill their last open seat. Candidates Ann Ferrerix and Bruce Teague are both fighting for it. Today's special election is being held after former member Kingsley Botchway decided to step down. Standing by in the newsroom is DITV News reporter Susanna Closter to bring us more. Susanna? Thanks, Becca. Prepare to cast your vote today in the Johnson County elections. In this special election, we have Ann Freerix and Bruce Teague battling for an empty seat on the Iowa City Council. Whoever wins this election will hold the seat until December 31st, 2021. Now, Freerix, who held 27% of the vote in the primary, is focusing her platform on affordable housing and transportation. And with 21% of the vote in the primary, Teague intends to do something more for Iowa City. When asked on how they would fit in on the council, here's what both candidates had to say. I'm just one of the tools to make things happen in a way. What it's really about is their goals and um, there's a vision that the city sees how we feel ourselves, the values that we have. I will listen to um, my fellow council uh, individuals and, um, you know, listen and hear what they're saying. Um, but at the end of the day, I have to make a decision based on what I truly believe is in the best interest for all individuals within this city. Now voter turnout for special elections tends to be lower, so head over to be sure to head over to the polls between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. today. And for more to, and for more on how to cast a vote, we have DITV news reporter Mackenzie Cooper standing by in the main library to tell us more. Mackenzie. Susanna, that's that's right. Today, Bruce Teague and Ann Ferricks are battling it out today for that empty seat on the Iowa City City Council. Now, I'm here at the main library at the University of Iowa campus, and you can see the sign behind me that says vote here, encouraging people to get out and vote in this local election. Now, if you are unsure of your polling place, you can visit the Johnson County Auditor's website, and by entering your address, it will tell you where you can vote. Now, polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. today. Now, for the primary election which took place on September 4th, only 9% of eligible voters went out and voted. Now officials are hoping that today more people will get out and vote in this local election. Again, if you are unsure of your polling place, be sure to visit johnson-county.com and by clicking on the voting section election tab, you can find out your polling place. Thanks Susanna, Sydney and Becca, back to you.